Okay, so let's use what we've learned to determine um, the expected value um, of this random variable. And the way to look at this, or one way to look at this, um, is if you think about this as um, out of a hundred times, maybe um, 12 came up 24 times. You can think about this as 20, uh, 17 came up 21 times. 30 came up 42 times. 47 came up 5 times. And 36 came up 8 times. Um, that is a sum of 45, 50, and 50 is 100. So out of 100 times, um, a random, this was kind of the, well, it was the distribution of the random variables. Um, so that's one way to look at this. What we want to do is figure out what the average was given that 12 came up 24 times, 17 came up 21 times. So what you could do is 12 times 24, 17 times 21, 30 times 42, 47 came up 5 times, so 47 times 5, and then divide all of that by 100. Um, and that will give you an average. Instead of dividing by 100, since each one came up some number of times, we're going to work with the frequency and divide by 1. Because when you add these up, this will add up to 1 versus adding them up in this manner, which would take them up to 100. So we will just simply um, get the expected value. By doing something like this, we call this one list 1, this one list 2, so it's a 12 times 0.24, plus a 17 times 0.21, plus a 30 times 0.42, a 47 times 0.05, plus a 36 times 0.08, and if you do the math on that, um, we will get an average value, an expected value essentially. Um, since the frequencies on all of these add up to 1, you can imagine that we're just dividing by 1. And if we had um, used 24, 21, and so forth, then we would have to divide by 100. But we're not going to do that. This makes it easier. We can just simply do the math that we have here. Now, in order to make our lives easier, we can put this into our calculator um, and use that to do the math for us. So in one list, list 1, I'll put a 12, 17, 30. So let's go into our editor and we'll start with list 1, 12, 17, 30, 47, 36, and then on the other side, um, I'll put the frequencies. Um, so I'll do the 0 0.24, 0 0.21, 0 0.42, 0 0.05. So 2421, 4,2. 05 and 08 and I'll go ahead and um, use the help of the calculator to figure out what the um, expected value is. So under stats uh, calculate one of our stats and what I'll do is say list one is the first one, and um, and then I'll say list two is the second one, and have it calculate. Let's clear this up. Okay, so now. 
um, it looks like the average should be 24.28. So the expected value is 24.28. And the way that I got that is by using one single variable statistics, one of our stats, list one. The frequency is always the second list, list two. Um, and we did it the short way. The long way would be um, doing those calculations um, by hand. And so I could have gone into the calculator and done those one by one. Um, and if you try that, it should also give you the 24.28. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. The 12 times 0.24, the 17 times 0.21 and do it the long way. And if we look at that, we get a calculation of 24.28. So that is um, another way of getting that same answer. So that's how we can get the expected value of a random variable. We have to have the values that the random variable can take on, and then we also have to have a probability distribution. And for it to be a proper probability distribution, these values have to add up to 1. Um, right? We want to get, ultimately, a, it has to be 100%. Now, let's go ahead and do one more example where I'm, I ask you to get the expected value um, of this random variable. It takes on these values. Um, as I go back to the previous one that we just looked at, notice that 30 occurred at the highest frequency. It occurred 42% of the time. So that has some real influence on what, you, what number you can expect this random variable to take on. Right? So this is a random variable. It can only take on 12, 17, 30, 47, 36, but 30 shows up 42% of the time. So it makes sense that our variable, our random variable, um, the most likely or the expected value is um, going to be 24 versus an 8 or um, a 48, 49, 50. So let's try another example. Um, we have, oh, once again, two lists. And what I want you to do is figure out what the expected value is. And so we are going to use a function on our calculator, one of our stats, list one, list two, and get the expected value. I'm anticipating the expected value to be somewhere in that range. 33 comes up most often, and 20 comes up second most often. So that's kind of the range that I expect this to be in. So if I put those numbers into my calculator quickly, um, uh, let's go back, list one. List one was 9, 20, 33, 45, and 46. So 9, Uh, 9, 20, 33, 45, 46, and 9 came up 9% um, of the time. And then the other numbers, 36, 37, 15, so 36, 37, 15, and then 0 0.03 for the last one. And if I run these numbers through my calculator, um, so one of our stats will go list one, list two, and we get a 28.35. And I did expect it to be in that range, so it makes sense. 28.35 is what we get for the expected value. So that's the average. Now, the variance of a random variable is um, 
the expected distance or the average distance squared. So it's the average distance squared. So I have the average, I just calculated that to be 28.35. So I want to use my calculator so that I come up with um, a third list here, list three, and um, what I'm looking to get is the expected value, in this case it's the function of a random variable, and the function that we're looking to calculate is um, x minus a constant squared. I want that expected value. And in order for me to get that expected value, it's going to be the summation. So S, Greek S is a sigma. It's going to be that function um, minus the average squared, the mean squared, times the probability of each one of those. So that's going to tell me my average distance from the mean, or my average squared difference, um, because I have the frequency or the probability of each one of those random variables. So I need x sub i minus mu. So over here, and then I have to square that. So what I'm really doing is for my list 3, it's going to be 9 minus something, 20 minus the mean, 33 minus the mean, 45 minus the mean, and 46 minus the mean, and that mean we've already determined to be 28.35. I want to square it. 20 minus 28.35 squared and so forth. So I'm going to do that with each one of those. And the easiest way to do that is to let our calculator do the work for us. So my uh, list 3, if I go back into the editor, my list 3 um, since I want to operate down here on the list as in, in its entirety, I'm going to say that list 3 is, so since I'm sitting on at the very top, not over here, but at the very top on the list name itself, I can do list-wide operations. And what I want to do is subtract each one of subtract from each one of these the mean. 9 minus the mean, 20 minus the mean. So I want list 1 minus the mean. So it's going to be list 1 minus, um, and we calculated the mean to be 28.35. And I'm going to square that. So I'm really trying to get the expected value of that difference squared. So when I drop this in, I get 9 minus 28.35 squared. Um, and now that I have those values, if I want to figure out the expected value of this, then um, I'm going to do something very similar. What I'll do um, to figure out what that is, is that I'll do the one of our stats and then it's going to be the um, the random variable in this case it's the f it's a function of a random variable l3 and then its frequency or its probability and that is going to be list 2 again so one of our stats l3 l2 and so if I try that, 
calculate one of our stats. I just need to make this one change. I'll call this one list three. Calculate it, and I get a 117. Point, I'll call it uh, 0 0.73. 117.73. And so that is the variance. Um, and if I take the square root of the 117.725, um, so let's go ahead and take the square root of 117.725, I get 10.85. Um, so since I calculated that value there, the variance, the square root of that variance is my 10.85. What that says is the standard deviation around the mean is going to be um, 10.85. So from a probability distribution table, not only can we get the mean, we can get the expected, or in this mean being the expected value. That's um, more accurate way of describing it. It's a type of mean, but the expected value is 28.35 and the expected variation around that mean, um, we can determine what that kind of expected difference squared is or um, a standard deviation or spread around that mean.